I'm Charles Dennis, Director of ITDA. I'm a Professor of Marketing and Retailing. I'm also a Director of Research for a UK university. What these series of clips are about is research. How to get started in research. What is research? This is important for anybody who's, for instance, taking on a PhD or someone who works in academia and wanting to get started doing research. So the model, the, the clips that we've got are what is research, why publish, what is theory, building a model and scales. And these are very short introductions to the topic which I hope that you will enjoy and find useful. So first of all, here we go with the first clip, what is research? Well, first of all, let's think about why we would do research. These are just some of the ideas for what, why people do research that have come up. The ideas from myself and from other people that I've spoken to. One of the most common reasons for doing research is to add to human knowledge or to make people's lives better to protect the planet, but also producing commercially useful material that's going to make profits. For people who are in universities, it's what's expected if you're in a good university. Um, teaching in the best universities is informed by the research. That means it adds to the student life learning. And finally, it's part of doing a good job if you're an academic. And of course, particularly for me, then I'd say it's fun. So what is it? Could be described as being inquiry aimed at discovery and interpretation of facts. Basically, that research is finding answers. So if it's finding answers, we need to start with an interesting question. So the interesting sort of question could be one that's challenging what's already known. So if you can come up with something that's controversial, then it's likely to be a good research question. What is the problem to be addressed? Why does it need addressing? And how are we going to address it? These are the key things that you need to be thinking about. What are the expected outcomes? Who will be interested in it? And who's going to pay for it? Like, for instance, these are the research councils who may be funding research. Are they going to pay interested in paying for this sort of research? The object of research is to get extend human knowledge. And you're only extending human knowledge if you publish it. And that means before it's published, it's got to be judged as being valid. And there's a system that's used, in some ways it's not a very good system, but it's the one that we've got, and it works better than anything else. 